Hey, how's it going, guys? This is day two of Johnny Farrow's uh, YT100 YouTube video challenge. So this is the um, feather painting that I did a top coat yesterday. I did the second top coat yesterday because um, when I did the first top coat, I did not realize there was silicone. I forgot that I used silicone in, in this painting and it had divots. As you can see, divots are gone. Turned out very nice. Very happy with it. So, that is our answer. Yes, you can pour over it again. Um, I did get some tips. Uh, someone told me also that you can coat it first with, with your spray varnish, um, acrylic based. And once that dries, then you can top coat over it with no problem. And then the other option, of course, is to use the alcohol, and you may have to use more than one coat. But it works, and I'm happy. And if you bear with me, I will come over here and show you some other paintings that I did a top coat on. So these are acrylic pores. This little guy, I think he's a 10 by 20. I just love this thing. And adding that uh, stone coat countertop art coat. Top coat, lots of coats in there. <laughs> but it just makes it shine and it makes those colors so vibrant. And one more. Yeah, this was a tree ring pour on a 12 by 12 canvas. And really, that definition just really intensifies it once you put that top coat on there. So these are acrylic paintings with stone coat, art coat on top as a top coat. It's a beautiful glass-like finish. And it just really intensifies the color and definition. Love it. Love it, love it. So, basically this is a how did it dry. <laughs> So you can see they dried fairly well. The feather worked, thankfully. And then I got some other little things going on here. Um, I want to do a jewelry piece with a feather. So I have just coated it first. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with that next. But got a thin coat on each side. I can clean that up and then I can use that in some in a resin piece. Hopefully make a cool necklace out of it. This was a fail. So I also like to crochet. And I've just made this little round out of some really cool fabric. But when I put the resin on just to try to seal it, the colors that were so intense and beautiful, they just all bled together. So we won't be doing anything with that. But, you know, it's always fun to experiment and try different things. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Try to focus in on this pretty painting here as we say goodbye. And we'll see you again tomorrow for day three of the Y2 YT 100 challenge. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Till next time guys.